Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for C2H5OH. This is ethanol. So the first question we ask, are there any ions present? So do we have any ions here? They're all nonmetals, and we don't have a negative or a positive after the C2H5OH. So we don't have any ions present. So we can get rid of this here. So there are no ions present. We go to the next thing here. Are there any polar molecules present? So is C2H5OH a polar molecule? And to figure that out, we really need to look at the Lewis structure and then at the molecular geometry. So here's the Lewis structure, and we can see that we do have this oxygen, which is very electronegative, attached to the hydrogen and the carbon here. So we'd expect that this might be a polar molecule. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions. So here's the ethanol molecule. The red, that's the oxygen. The white are the hydrogens. And then that gray, those are the carbons. So if we look at the surface of the molecule here, you'll see because oxygen is more electronegative than the hydrogen or the carbon, that it's going to appear red. So this is going to be more negative than this hydrogen up here. That's going to be more positive, the blue. We have this positive and a negative side. C2H5OH, that's a polar molecule. So yes, we have a polar molecule. We then ask for the hydrogen atoms, are they bonded to fluorine, oxygen, or nitrogen? And right here is an oxygen. So we do have the hydrogen atoms bonded to oxygen. We go over here and down. We can see that hydrogen bonding, that's the primary intermolecular force. There will be dipole-dipole interactions, and all molecules have London dispersion forces. But for C2H5OH, the major molecular force, the major intermolecular force, is hydrogen bonding. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.